Greetings everyone, and welcome to another video on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Instead of a news or a new meta today, I wanted to talk about guilds and why I switched guilds. Uh, this is a topic not everyone is often familiar with, but the guilds in the Galaxy of Heroes serve a very critical function. They unlock some of the most fun content you can have outside of Grand Arena, which incidentally is on for the 3v3 soon so I'm excited for that but yeah I left older Republic and I kinda wanted to go through my reasonings why I changed and how I found my new my new guild Chewbacco so the whole process you know just if I pull out yeah top tier 3 million plus GP now I'm fortunate I got in without that, although I do need to check if I need to use any more energy. I should be down here at the very bottom because I am the newest member. Never mind, I've produced some more. Oh, I need to spend 10 more. <laughs> I need to produce 10 more tickets. Okay, give me a second. But, um. So, why did I leave Older Republic? There were a couple reasons, and I know in a couple videos I had cited the, uh, the, the not being allowed to go hard on the the uh, droid raid or the the pit raid but that that really wasn't a factor so just want to make it clear right now I wasn't I'm not I wasn't being petty over oh god you won't let me you won't let me solo a raid so I'm gonna quit no it's it was a lot more of that this is something I had been considering for a couple months now and I just decided after during the last territory battle when I was browsing the forums, and the forums are a really important part of all this. That's kind of when I was I decided, you know what, I need to make a switch. Um, so the first reason, and this is actually the second time I've switched guilds before. The first time I just joined a random guild. Um, and, this, and then the second time I joined the Older Republic because they had the heroic AAT on farm and I wasn't ready for it. And that's part of this. I joined a, a guild that's got the Sith Raid down, so... I'll start earning Treya shards, and more importantly, I'll start getting access to the gear. But Older Republic was stagnating. We it, it's been a year, and I and I kind of realized this recently. It's been a year now since the Sith raid came out, and we as a guild never really made a strong effort to farm it. Uh, we we always said, oh, let's see if we can do heroic, and then you know once a month or so we would throw it on heroic for once and fail it and see that we were no, never close, but we never as a guild made an effort towards it. And I kind of realized as a guild, we never made an effort towards anything. Um, there were times, especially during territory battles, where I'd call things out in chat, like, hey, does anyone have, you know, uh, this character left or that left? And I would notice if... A big difference like that would actually be the difference between a couple stars on territory battles. The last one just finished up and we ended with 30, which is okay, but I, I just kind of realized as a guild we weren't going for anything. We didn't have a goal and we weren't structured. We had a Facebook page that nobody used. I applied to it months ago and I never got in. Now I never will. You know, it's just one of those things where the guild wasn't going anywhere. You know, it was a bunch of great players but there wasn't an organized structural goal so that's that was my biggest motivation to change to join a guild with purpose with a goal and then also to gain access through the guild to higher resources and specifically i'm thinking of stuff like gear 12 plus items if you want to get, say, okay, that's a bad example, but there's parts, okay, come on, here, this. You can either buy it for a really high amount of money, or crystals, or you get it from the Sith Raid on Heroic. Like, simply put, you need to do Heroic to get it. Look at that all this gear 12 stuff and then if you're really 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 lucky this stuff which is just insanely valuable so that's one place to get get gear 12 the other is to get really high uh, rewards in territory battles and 
I don't. Yeah. Okay. So I can't see the. Um, I can't see what's going on in that, but. Like just getting the, uh, you know, thirty stars is respectable, but the best rewards come when you get to the forties. And I again, it's guild wasn't moving towards anything really. Like the best I can say is my old guild was Grand Arena and Squad Arena focused, which isn't great for a guild. Now, as far as Squad Arena goes, cool. I'll be unlocking Treya, which will give me a bit more viability, but that's still going to be a ways off. As you saw, Treya comes in batches of 12 shards, so I've got 10 shards of Treya, I think. Treya, because they gave her away once. So, looking at that, I will still need 9 rounds of the Sith Raid to unlock her, and then I don't even know how many more of the... No, it might need 10 rounds still. No, I need 11 rounds of the Sith Raid to unlock her, assuming that 12 stars is, or 12 shards is how many you get for just bare participation. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to participate, obviously, but I recognize that, you know, my teams aren't as geared as they need to be. I'm still trying to stick right now with my, um, my plan of finishing up the Bounty Hunters and then the Night Sisters, because Bounty Hunters will get me Chewbacca, which is, for me... Uh, dual importance for just general overall viability and then increased power for my ships through the Falcon. I'm fighting the top five in my my fleet arena right now. It feels really good, but we're at the point now where a gear, where the difference between a gear five and a gear seven Chewie is the difference in the, the fight because just their Falcons are faster, their ships are faster. Yeah, I'm facing the best of the best now, so I need to power that up. Um, other things I need to work on, just, uh, I need to power up my Jedi training raid team. R2 is actually kind of close, but, um, I need things like, is it this one? No, it's this one. No? Oh, guess he doesn't have it. Okay, fine. I've got, I'm on my way to getting what R2 needs to get him to, uh, gear 12. And I, I want to get more gear 12 characters. And being in a higher tier guild means more stuff, um... One big thing is, if you'll notice, I just unlocked Wampa today. Um, yeah, I got Wampa. He is now unlocked at five stars, but I still need to finish farming him. And getting more stars in territory battles and more wins in territory wars and just higher uh, payouts in territory wars, you know, that's going to be huge. That's so that that's going to feed me more of this currency, which is once I'm done farming Wampa, then I can get to the really good part, which is getting gear for it. You know, very valuable gear for what I feel is reasonable or prices. You know, maybe if I'm desperate, some shards. But I don't feel like it's worth buying stuff with shards. I feel like getting especially this gear stuff, and then I'll also just have access to more stuff for the Shard Shop. Um, that was from the Rebel Roundup event today. You know, look, more Gear 12 stuff that I could use. Actually, doing this would put this in a viable position, so I will definitely pick up this. Um, you know, look, Carbontes are available. Uh, I don't think that's anything particularly... Nope, that's not important. Biotech implants, again, it's like, you know, it's more stuff to do. I actually want to see if I've unlocked a piece of gear 12 here. All right, nothing on you. What about it went down here? So that is the nice-ish thing. It's like, usually when I hit gear 12 with someone, I've got the pieces they need. Oh, Yoda's a good example on a character who, he needs what I call the overkill stun gun, which is a stun gun, a bio implant... And, if I can get it to scroll down, and I'm actually only one away, of a back to tank. Which, this one at least can be farmed for. But but that is a hugely expensive piece of gear. And then I also will need a second bio implant, which now will be coming a lot easier through Sith Raid. So I'm actually getting real close to a gear 12 Yoda. And then once he's gear 12, I'll probably have two pieces. But this all ties into you need a good guild to do this stuff. Like, let's let's go look at uh, Territory Wars. Um, leaderboard. Can I see what the guild does? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, rewards. So... I don't exactly remember. I know that we're in one of these, these uh, top three ranks because they say that they... 
when I was discussing with this guild, and I'll tell you the process in a minute, they were saying that they're in the three Zeta range, which is huge because look at that. That's gear. Uh, that's a lot of gear. The, that's super nice, decent amount. And then the box, which again has gear 12 in it and very, very nice pieces. Uh, just out of curiosity, all right, just looks like you get a little more if you're in the top 160. Uh, currently, we're obviously only at 50 active, but, you know, we're, we're, we're at, what, 17 of... 14 of 50. So I've got really high um, hopes for this war that we'll be able to gain or we'll be able to do well. Um, you know, I haven't looked over the roster too much of the new guildies, and I don't think anyone from... Uh, I don't think I'm fighting anyone in the arena, hopefully. That was one thing I was like, I should double-check my arena now. Obviously, I can't see everybody. Come on, scroll. Chewbacca. Oh, there's... Um... <laughs> like, some of these I'm also recognizing from, like, top guilds now, because I actually went and looked at guilds as, like, so who's who? Yeah, okay, it doesn't look like I'm facing anyone from my team, which is nice. Obviously, you don't want to have to smack around your guildies, but, um, you know, the, the guild's stronger. You saw, they said, you know, min 3, 3k GP, or 3 mil GP, or the, the, the not-so-listed part was just, I talked to them. So, I decided I need a new guild to gain access to these things. So, how did I go about getting a new guild? Well, it was pretty simple. I went to the forums. There's a part of the forums for actually quite a few different things. You can either have... You can post as a guild looking for people uh, from a couple different variations. They have the casual guilds, which is what I would definitely consider my old guild, where you don't really get to post restrictions. It's just, hey, we got some slots to, spill, uh, slots to fill, you know. That kind of stuff. And then you have the, the I think they called it elite guilds, where you do get to post restrictions on GP and stuff. And I did note, and I did note that I was a little low for a lot of the GP requirements, because I do try and keep a bit of a lean roster. I don't just go level 85 everything. I haven't even level 85 uh, Wampa yet. Because I figure, eh, he's not going to be great right off the bat. I've got too many other characters to, to gear up right now. So Wampa will... Like, I've got him, but I'm not going to use him probably till he's six stars. Then I can really start getting some use out of him. I think he's viable. It's five stars. Don't get me wrong. It's just for my uses. I don't know. I've already got plenty of plug-and-play dark sides. And uh, Droidica has also been really nice on that. So I went to the third option where players post their information. And I actually made a small forum post where I listed, you know, my GP, what I'm looking for, a bit of contact information, and my ally code. And then I got a ton of messages on the forum and in-game, actually, of different people. And I, I had the option then to realize that, hey, I am a, I am a, I'm a, a seller and a buyer's mark, or a, I'm a seller in a seller's market, basically, where I get to choose my buyer. In this case, I got to choose my guild. And I went through the offers, and it came down to basically a top three pretty quickly. Because there were a lot of them where they had, they were in the exact same situation of my old guild, and I had been very clear. It's like, I'm looking for Heroic Sith Raid right, on farm. I'm not looking for a guild trying to progress through it, because I'm at the point where... Basically, I feel like progression should have shifted away from that by now. Progression should be getting ready for whatever's coming next. Because it's been a year now, so I get the feeling there's another raid coming soonish. I mean, there's something coming soonish, I'll put it this way. Um, Revener Malik's up next. So there's going to be another giant paywall. I'm not panic farming that. I don't panic farm that. Um, I might, after he's out start farming it because I'm seeing that, okay, the people who got Jedi Knight Revan freely, uh, the, the free-to-play way this time did a lot better. They, um, you know, like, their their Revans are being honored. They're not being relegated to, a, to second place already. So, you know, if Darth Re if I like Darth Revan, maybe I'll pick him up on round two. I mean, for for example, I've already got HK forty seven seven starred. I've had him seven starred for years. He was a he was a super easy squad arena farm. 
um, you know, Bastila of Dark Sides on was already on my to-do list because she's kind of critical if you want to run a good Treya team, and uh, I'm going to have a Treya team now, which actually also will free me up to have a Vader team for Empire, which is cool. Basically, one new character or two new characters suddenly opens up two Squad Arena character, uh, teams, you know, or not Squad Arena, but Grand Arena. So, yeah, I, I got to choose. I had top three-ish teams, and, I'm, and I, again, just, uh, it, was, it was these guys and, and a nicer guild that was about a, a little weaker than them, but they were nice people, and then another guild that just was kind of like, eh, you're definitely not going to be the one, but I am entertaining the offer. And I, I did end up going with these guys because these guys felt the most committed to winning. They've got a very well-organized Discord with, um, you know, with strategies, with guides, with help. And, they, and another thing that impressed me with both of my top two teams is they actually looked at my roster. So, um... Like, like that was that was what caught my eye on the other the other the, the nice guys is they they commented on a good lean roster so I knew they actually looked they didn't just look at my GP number because what am I at right now I was at about two point one I gained a big power boost from the uh, the separatists recently so I was at about two point one which is okay you know and i've got a decent number of gear 7 or gear 12s gear 11s and obviously um in this game power grows exponentially so i'm only going to keep growing faster and faster because i'll have better access to more and more stuff so you know they actually they took the time to notice and then as far as um the Sith raid went. I posted 10, uh, 10 million last time. I don't think I'll post as high this time around, or whenever it starts up again. It's it's not going right now, which I'm thankful for. Which means I get to jump in right away. I, I came in at a good moment because I get to do the territory war. Uh, the only thing I'm missing out is the current pit raid, which, eh, it's the it's the pit. It's it's bonus gear, but it's never been like a super important thing. So. Yeah, like they 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 comment on the roster. They haven't they haven't mentioned any mandatory farms yet, so I'm gonna keep doing my own thing. But I'm very happy to if they're like, hey, we need people to farm up this team. I'll throw some energy at it for sure. Like I'm close enough on uh, Django where it's like, okay, he's because I'm doing three refreshes a day now. It's like he's a week, I'd say, away, maybe a little less if I find a really good uh, if I've got crystals and i find a like an eight stack in the shop and then again hound's tooth's also close then i'll go focus on bosk and then cantina wise i did decide to take magna guard up to six stars through the cantina just because it kind of felt like a waste otherwise because he was he was so close it was just like why not six more shards so yeah i've got seven of them and you know now he's up um I'm working on Zalbar again with ship energy. Actually, he is due for his last uh, shot of the day because I'm not refreshing him. And it's like now I'm start now I'm starting to put effort in on the Revan characters because I know okay. At some point, I need to actually get these guys farmed up because I'm going to need Revan just for stuff like Grand Arena. Like, I need, I need a rev encounter, which my hope is I'll get Treya for that, but, you know, in reality is I'm going to have to beat Revan on my own. Now, I beat him before. I, I don't actually remember what team I used, but I've beaten Revan's before. I think I just threw my arena team and got lucky, but, you know, it, it's not easy. You got to you gotta be careful. On one slight note, I got I finally got Zombie to, uh, to gear 10 so I can use Undying Sacrifice now. Oh, boy. Boy, is that fun. Um, and then I'm hoping the Finn rework will replace the Resistance Trooper with him, which is why I'm not working on him right now, because I'd rather use Finn in the Sith Raid in, in place of Resistance Trooper, just because I think he'll be good. Um, but yeah, so I talked to this guild. We, we arranged. I, I set the caveat of as soon as the territory battle is over, I'll switch guilds. Because territory battles, they only happen twice a month. If 
maybe three times a month. And the rewards, like, you, you saw it. I got Wampa out of it, and I got some gear out of it. And, well, it's not gear on characters I'm uh, super priority on. I'm still at the point of, okay, that's an important thing. I've got gear. I need to get the currency. And then as soon as it was done, I said my goodbyes, and I left the guild. Hopefully on good terms. I obviously didn't stick around to see their reactions. So... You know, it's it, it's going to be what it's going to be. But I tried to leave it on as nice of terms as I could. And I'm hoping that now, moving forward, I'll, I'll be able to just accomplish more. Um, I know for having a good, a good guild usually means, more, again, like through Territory Wars, more Zetas, more Gear 12. It really, it, it's mandatory to progress at the end. And I feel like I'm really getting towards the point where I can start Folk, I can start really powering things up. Will I keep working on Grievous and the Separatist droids? I don't know. I mean, I'll work on B2 and Droidica for sure. Because of the of the five, those two have the most plug-and-play viability. Because B2 can just mow people down. Like, his was, his was one of a, a really good old kit. And now that it's been brought up to modern standards, it's once again a very, very good and viable kit. I highly recommend to anyone who's, like, in the beginner phases, like, if you want a nice, strong, plug-and-play dark side character, B2 Battle Droid's a very good character. Magna Guard, not so much. Ba uh, B1, oh my god, he's useless without his Zeta. Like, I just, that that's that's just the K way it is. He needs his Zeta. He's not good without it. Droidica will be great when Droidica is seven stars. I've already seen some really, really nice Ray. Jedi training tactic videos with it um, that can actually even take on Revan. So I, I think this video has gone on long enough, but that's that's my thoughts on guilds and on um, and on why I changed. Uh, just a couple closing thoughts: If you're in a guild and you you, and you don't feel like it's progressing, you've kind of got two choices. You can try and get them to progress by talking to people. I tried that a little bit, but it, it became very clear that that wasn't, the, um, that wasn't the intention of my guild leader. They wanted a chill guild and to like help gear up newer players. So like so I guess there's there's three types of guilds in my opinion. There's end game guilds, which is what I'm hoping I've joined, which will push for for end game progression, end game content, high scores, cutting edge stuff. Not whaling. I want to be clear, whaling is not something I was looking to do. I'm actually really going to be cutting back now that they upped the price on marquee packs, and now I'm going to be very picky on that. Um, so not whaling, but just trying to push the game as hard as you can with efficient energy, efficient strategies. There's transition guilds, which is what I felt like I was in for a very long time, where they take the players who come out of the starter guilds, which are built by the actual game itself, and then they like get them geared up. You get your first few raid characters, you get your first few viable teams, you, you get advice, you get stuff, but they're not going to push for the highest level stuff, because we had a, ro we had a, a somewhat turnover rate where yeah the last five or ten arena slots or five or ten guild slots would would empty out and now again another i've left that's another slot opening up that they're gonna fill pretty quickly um oh someone is mentioning i cannot join the guild uh. this tank ray All right, just letting them know. Yeah, and believe me, I I would love to hit it, but I can't. I, I, I'd already tried to join it earlier, because I was like, okay, let's get involved. Let's show some commitment. And I guess that would be one last final thing, is when you do show a guild, um, one, one thing I noticed about requirements for almost everything was get your 600. And what's the 600? It would be this. Spend raid and... Can okay, spend energy and cantina energy to earn tickets... And, you know, get your 600. As you can see, I'm at 590. I need to do one more something. Um, actually, yeah, how much energy do I have? 10 Cantina, 13 lab. Um, 
let's just let's just spend some cantina. You know, who's don't need you. It's like here, we'll do this because I never actually finished Kylo Ren's uh, ship. Damn it. Yeah, no, I never actually finished the Tie Silencer, so that should have taken me up to boom six hundred, and then. Uh, PvP attempts. All right, I'm okay on that because I have already done my dailies and I've been and I'm pushing hard on ships right now. So that's the other thing because those those tickets those tickets are what get you. Um, they, that's what gets you more raids. So, and again, tried to join, couldn't join. All right, uh, Grand Arena is going to be up soon, but I am going to go stream on Twitch right now. This video is coming out a day after all this, just in, uh, just because I kind of want it to come out on Monday. I know it's a bit of a interesting, more personal one, but I think it's good to have discussions about guilds and their purposes. And by the way, the starter guilds are just basically a giant quest machine, and they do get a starter version of raids, but they're not going to get you stuff like seven star Han or general kenobi or the gear from raids so it's very important to um it, it's important to understand that those guilds are temporary and if you're in a transition guild understand that even if it's even if it was like mine with a bunch of really really nice players at some point you're gonna have to move on because you need to be in an end game guild because those are going to be for the most part pretty stationary rosters and the, the reason I'm getting in is they're actually cutting some people who aren't communicating anymore. Like, they're active, but they're not talking, which is the reason I'm getting in. And then I'm also, they're also under the impression that I'm going to quickly grow my GP, which I'm obviously going to try to do. All right, that does it for uh, this video. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. And I love, I, I do love chatting with you guys. And I think this is a really good topic to have discussions about. Because for a while, I was nervous about changing a guild. So the forums are the best place to go if you want information on that. There's plenty of friendly people. You'll get plenty of messages. So don't be afraid. And take some initiative on your personal galaxy growth. I hope everyone has a great day. And farewell.